What's the difference between amplifier gain and its wattage? This question comes to us from Yuval in Israel. Yuval writes, hey Paul, thanks for your videos. You're certainly welcome. Been learning a lot about our hobby from them, and thanks for PS Audio Power Products. Been using them for many years. Good, thank you. My question regards amplifier power. Can you please clarify the relationship between an amplifier gain and rated output in watts as voltage gain? If I recall correctly, you stated in one of your previous videos, uh-oh, here's where I'm going to get caught. <laughs> you said um, that an amp gain is usually between 20 something and 30 dB. Uh, yet power output in watts can be anything from a few single watts uh, to hundreds or even thousands for some solid state amplifiers. I know, of course, that the relationship is not linear, but could you explain? Yeah, sure. Um, the subject is a good one because people get, it, it's, it can be complicated. It isn't complicated, but it certainly can be complicated when we talk about gain versus wattage, right? So let's see if I can, I've probably said this a few times before and never really got the point across very well. So when we, like here on this AP, I don't know if you can actually see this, but when we measure gain of an amplifier, what we're measuring is the amplification of voltage. So input versus output voltage. And that means if I put one wa uh, what, if I put one volt into my amplifier input, how many volts do I get at my amplifier output? So if I have a gain of 20 dB, let's say, on my amplifier, which is fairly low for an amp because uh, actually most amps have 27, 28 to 30 dB of gain but we'll just use uh, a 20. So uh, 20 dB of gain, and decibels are kind of hard, and I'm not gonna try and get into it, and you can kind of look that up if you want, because they're a relationship to um, something that's a little more difficult than gain, because there's, um, voltage gain is a number, uh, an arithmetic uh, uh, number. So if I have a gain of 10, I put one volt in, I get 10 volts out, it's pretty easy. But that gain of 10 is actually 20 dB, where a gain of 30 is actually 30 dB. So one volt in, you get 30 volts out. One volt in for, for times 10, you get uh, uh, 10, 10 volts out but one's 20 dB and the other's 30. So it gets kind of confusing because it's on a, on a logarithmic scale. So don't, don't confuse yourself with that stuff. Let's just stay in the voltage domain for a minute because it's a lot easier to understand gain. Because if I have a gain of 10, one in, 10 out. Gain of 100, one in, 100 out, okay? So that's, that's pretty simple. Um, and that's gain. And the number of volts on the output of an amplifier into a specific load, i.e. four ohms or eight ohms, will give you a certain number of watts, okay? So for example, if I have, uh, let's see if I remember any of this stuff, I think 40 volts into eight ohms is 200 watts, if I remember right, and 40 volts into four ohms is 400 watts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. So how do we get those volts, okay? So imagine, and this is how we, this is, and, and that's completely separate. So once we develop this voltage at the output of the amplifier, then the amplifier has, a, has, to, has to have enough current gain, enough horsepower to maintain those volts across a specific load. So if I'm going to put 40 volts across 8 ohms to get my 200 watts, I have to have enough current, enough big enough transformer, a big enough energy storage to have enough uh, power 
to maintain that voltage. But if I don't have a load on there and I pull the load off, it's still, it should still be 40 volts. Uh, and now I'm not drawing any current. I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything with that voltage. Because remember, voltage into a load creates either heat or some kind of motive force. In the case of a speaker, that motive force is turning this electromagnet on so it starts moving back and forth you know, to the, to the up and down voltage coming out. And when I, when I look at voltage of, say, a sine wave, that's the average voltage, because we know it's still going from zero up to here and up and down, and the average of that we could call 40 volts. So if I need 40 volts on the output, and I have a gain of, uh, what's, what could we do for easy math? Let's say we have a gain of, uh, well, an average gain is 30, right? So 30, uh, 40 divided by 30 is what? 1.5, no, that'd be 1.4, I don't know, 1.3, something like that. Volts will give me 40 volts on the output because it's the gain is the input voltage times the gain, the voltage gain gives you the output volts. And whatever those output volts are is what's going to determine how many watts are being put into your speaker. So I hope that sort of gives you uh, an idea. And here's the other thing, the, the last thing I'll say on it before I, I start going, getting everybody going around in circles here. The average gain, let's call it 30, of an amplifier is the same whether that amplifier is a 20 watt amp or a 1000 watt amp. It probably has the same gain. So what that means is that for a given gain, if the amplifier is only capable of putting out a couple of watts, you're only going to get, you know, that those couple of watts are only going to be 20 or 30 volts at the output. So, so it's going to limit how much input voltage you can put in before you reach that. The gain, the ratio between the input and the output remain the same. It's just an amplifier with very low uh, wattage output and the same gain as a high wattage amplifier can only take in a limited number of volts before you reach that output voltage. And then you're going to clip. But if, if all of a sudden we were to increase the rails, then I could go up and make more volts, but the gain would remain the same. Hope that sheds a little light on it. All right, thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.